Welcome to Concept Learn. Coming to the bulk density. Bulk density as the name bulk indicates it includes not only the soil particles but also the volume of the soil bulk. Bulk means not only the soil but also the volume of the soil. It is nothing but mass per unit volume of the dry soil. Dry soil usually includes both the soil particles and also the pore spaces complete volume of the soil. The bulk density of a soil is smaller than particle density. Why bulk density is smaller than particle density means? In bulk density, we are taking both the soil particles and pore spaces. Means here the volume of these increases. So, the bulk density of the soil decreases. Volume of the dry soil, volume of soil particles and pore spaces increase means bulk density decreases. The bulk density of a soil is always smaller than particle density whereas in particle density we are only taking the volume of the soil particles. That is why bulk density is always smaller than that of the particle density. Loose and porous soils have a lower bulk density compacted to that of the compacted soils. Loose and porous soils means more is the pore spaces. Pore space here means it is inversely proportional to the density. Density inversely proportional to the pore spaces means as pore spaces increases, density decreases. So, loose and porous soils. Loose means uh, if soils are loose, means particles are loose ga unte, porous are loose, particles are loose. Compacted soils are pore space same unte, one day and 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 one day when compared to here, here pore spaces are density and density. So, loose and porous soils have lower density compared to that of the compacted soils. Next, bulk density is of important than particle density in understanding the physical behavior of the soil. Physical behavior of the soils like uh, how the water is holding, how the infiltration rate, permeability, all these physical behavior are more influenced by bulk density then compared to that of the particle density. Why more influenced by bulk density means in bulk density we are taking the pore spaces as the permeability, water holding uh, capacity or infiltration all are depend upon the pore spaces. So, bulk density plays an important role when compared to the particle density in understanding the physical behavior of a soil. Coming to generally normal soil bulk density ranges from 1 to 1.6. On an average the bulk density of a normal soil or generally the bulk density of a soil is 1.33 mega gram per meter cube. This is very very important for exam. Units are also important. 1.33 mega gram per meter cube. General bulk density of a soil. So, and dominated soils have more bulk density. Whereas organic peat soil uh, bulk density is 0.5 mega gram per meter cube. And the compacted subsoils have 2 mega gram per meter cube. Suppose if we take organic peat soils. Organic peat soils nothing but the soils which are rich in organic matter content. Peat soils nothing but rich in organic matter. Rich in organic matter. And the organic matter ekkodaite ekkunte do. A soil organic matter undadam valla particles ane vi general ka soil la ila unte. Ekkodaite organic matter undan ko ila unna particles na aggregate chesthan mata. Ila clumps clumps chedam valla porosity pores ane thi form aite. So organic itla pores undadam valla as we already discussed density is inversely proportional to pore spaces. Itla pores ane vi organic matter valla form aadam valla density ane thi takkunte do organic soils. Organic peat soils have lower density. Generally, the bulk density of a soil is 1.33 megagram. Whereas, organic peat soils have lower density. In the country, pore space is equal valla density and reduce it. Compacted soils. Compacted soils are pore space. Little particles are zero pore space. So, it is not the same. So, it is not the pore space. It is not the pore space. is less. So, density is more. Compacted subsoils have more the density. And these values are very important. 